Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. My name is Ava, and this is Stitching in the Interlake. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you who are uh, my regulars, uh, subscribers, and new subscribers, and maybe, perhaps, you might want to subscribe today, which would be awesome. Always remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, and uh, there's a dedicated email um, for this group, stitching in the interlake at gmail.com. There is also the dedicated Facebook group, stitching in the interlake. And all you need to do to get on there is to give me the names of one of my three sidekicks. I can tell you it's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those days. So, do you remember on Monday night? I couldn't sleep. I was up. All of that. I was up at three or whatever it was, quarter after three. Well, I beat my own record. I was awake at 2.30 to go to the bathroom, I kind of laid down again. I think I dozed. And then Lily Bell, she wanted out. So then I got out, put her out, brought her back in, and I went back to bed to try and sleep. Nothing. 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 Okay, as you can see here, I am continuing to work on winter angel or angel of winter I mean I am not thinking straight today words are not coming to me so I finished up stitching like all these folds in her dress and then this morning I just had a little bit here of the uh, border to do so the white is now all finished. So I am going to work on this color, which is 930. And that is all these green spots with the green plus signs. So they should not take that long to, to do, hopefully. And yes, I am progressing onward. I'm so happy about this. Who knows? Maybe this weekend I can start on... No, I can't start on the beadwork because i got to get all that silver done. Unless I can get it done, but I can tell you the way I feel right now, not going to happen. Not going to happen. So... Well, today is the start of the Roger Kimley Festival. There's lots of music and events going on all around um, Ericsdale. So wherever you want to go, uh, tomorrow there's free music in the park. And... So I'm sure a lot of people will take that in. Especially good for the kids. So. Yeah. So today is the last day for our yard sale. I can't go over to Juliet's. I think I'd probably fall asleep before I'd even get there. So, yesterday we got the call there that uh, they were picking up supplies and bringing it here for the roof. So everything had to be moved out except for the washer and dryer and the uh, deep freeze to be moved out of the porch. 
and so I guess we'll see what happens there. So yeah, everything from there is all strewn around my house. And so that is anxiety provoking. I can tell you that. That's very, that's hard for me to deal with because I don't know where anything is. And being tired does not help. So after I'm done this and I start to get this loaded, I am going to lay down on the sofa and hopefully have a snooze. If I can get a half an hour or, oh well, if I can get an hour, I'd be a whole lot better. So as long as I'm not like this on Tuesday. Yeah. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. So nothing much is happening. Nothing much. Nothing much at all. Which is good. I wasn't able to go for my bike ride yesterday because everything happened here at once. Juliet and John had to come and we moved things. And um, there's more stuff I have to move around, but I can't do it right now. I'm just... <sighs> I'm just too darn tired. So hopefully I can get a nap. So. I see lots of people are um, choosing there what they are going to stitch on for September. And it's Hopefully, it brings you some enjoyment. I think there's one month, I don't know when, but I'm just thinking. One month, I'm going to do the challenge is to um, stitch on your oldest whip or um, stitch on something absolutely out of your comfort zone. Totally out of your comfort zone. I don't know what that would be for me. I'm not sure. So, the only thing I won't stitch on are swear words and stuff no no or satanic or anything like that no not gonna happen I, I've i stitched practically everything I've stitched um Oh, Chinese designs, Japanese designs. Um, I've done, I've done um, indigenous people from Canada. I've done some of those. I've done birth announcements, wedding announcements. Oh, gosh. I've done, I've done all kinds of things. Dogs, cats, horses. Um, oh, gosh. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I can't even tell you. Over the years. 
what I have actually stitched on. I've done smalls, like this big, and I've done um, really large ones. I did stitch on Hades until I got so lost, I just threw it in. I was working on um, a long dog sampler pandemic, and I was going okay until I got so lost in it. So, there's nothing I really haven't done. I've done fairies, angels, ladies, um, gosh, I don't even know what else. Oh, I've done, um, military, World War II aircraft. Uh, yeah, I I don't I don't know. I stitched Africa. I yeah, I don't know. Oh gosh! Well, that was wrong. That was wrong. Oh my goodness, where did I go here? That's what happens when you're tired. Oh, I messed up here. Something fierce. So, have you been getting your samplers together? Lovely, lovely samplers I've been seeing. Just lovely. And I see some of the samplers there that I either I have or I am it's coming in the mail. So Yes, that would be awesome. But the choice is up to you what you want to work on. Okay. That and... that right there. So for me, I think I'm going to work on Christmas Village. I like it. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Looks fairly easy too, yeah. None of the designs are that big. It doesn't look like there's much confetti, which I like. I may still drag out Hope and Love because I would like to work on that bit. Yeah, but we'll see what happens. I know somebody was already asking for me to spill the beans or give a hint there for October. And too soon. Too soon. 
I just gave you September. <laughs> You're already thinking about October. You're going to have to guess. I don't think that it's exactly what you're thinking of. So. But I think that um, I think it's going to be a little bit of a shocker. <laughs> Well, if you haven't even heard of the movie, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to mean anything, but. I think there's two of them out, the original and the sequel. Now, I have not watched either one of them. But I thought of that and I thought, oh, perfect. And no doubt it will be featured prominently in October on the streaming platforms. I think anyways. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Oh, I was watching this morning on Agenda Free TV there about um, the fires burning in Kelowna, B.C. and in, in and around Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. And people are being evacuated. It's It's unbelievable. Now, I heard that if the fires continue, then Yellowknife could be lost and Kelowna, a big part of Kelowna could be lost. Already houses have burned in both places. So... Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Have you noticed? Have you noticed how many fires there have been? There was a guy years ago, 30 years ago, he wrote a book and it was called Not by Fire, but by Ice. And what he was alluding to was climate change that the world was not going to burn, but we were going to go into a mini ice age. Well, I think we can all attest to the fact that it was a... Yeah, it did not... It did not materialize. Is it... Any better to have the fire than the ice? I don't know. At least the ice is more, you know, slow moving. Like lots of snow and all of that. And you have time to be able to pack up and get out. I think I was told there that um, in Yellowknife they have until noon today to evacuate the whole the whole city's being evacuated. They said there's like population of thirty three thousand or something. the most northerly city in Canada. Yeah. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
pray for everybody concerned. I mean, you know, I thought the Litton fire was just a, you know, where the whole town was lost, basically. I think there was just a few, two houses or three houses left standing, untouched. But anyway, um, you know, there was Lytton, B.C., there was Maui, uh, Lahaina, there's now Kelowna, and Yellowknife. And of course, there's other fires all over the place. I don't know in California when the Santa Ana winds are supposed to start. And California is bracing for a hurricane. The first hurricane to make landfall since 1939, I think they said. Somewhere around in there. Should it keep going on its trajectory? So... Yeah, I don't know. These changes are coming on really fast. And I don't think that it has anything to do with GW. You know, GL, OB, AL, warming. I think it has something to do with Planet X perturbing the Earth's rotation and orbit. And that's what's causing all of this. Now, do I know that for a fact? Nope. No, no, no. But it is an interesting concept. I'll tell you that. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to just work, finish this thing here, and then I'm going to read down. Oh, if I could use... If I could get like an hour's sleep, even 45 minutes, it would be awesome. It would be awesome because then I would feel better. I know it. I think that's it. What have we got? Oh, got a few minutes yet. Got a few minutes yet. So yes, I know my angel is coming along and I for one will be happy to have her finished. To finally have a big finish this year. And then I can go back and work on some of my other projects. And get ready for um, samplers in September. And you know what? September is coming up really fast. Next week is our last full week of August. I believe the first, uh, no, yes. So the last day of August is 
the Thursday, and Friday is the 1st of September. Gosh, it's going by fast. Oh my gosh, it's going by fast. I can't wait. I've got only four days to go. Four days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Like four days. Four days. That's just... But boy, I tell you, I better not be tired like this. I was thinking maybe that why I'm so tired um, th or that I'm not sleeping well is because of my uh, Jovi. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because I was tired the night before I took my Jovi. On Monday night, I didn't sleep well. So, I don't know. I don't know. Or do I blame it on this this sweet little girl over here? Miss Lilybell. Miss Twinkle Doze. Even I I had to even move the cat tree because once they start working on the porch, I can't go out the back door. I have to go out the front door. And then we've got a put the insulation back and plastic back up and yep to get ready for winter so I don't think they're going to be here Monday because Monday is supposed to be really rainy 10 to 15 millimeters of rain oh I heard yesterday too that the um the wheat used for pasta, durum wheat, were at our lowest yields ever because most of the crop had to be destroyed or it didn't grow or whatever. That it's just cattle feed. So... Yeah, not good. And rice is up in price, and oh gosh, oh my gosh, it's terrible. All right, everybody, I guess that's it. So I am gonna lay down now, and then I'm when I get up, I'm going to continue working on here. My Dishes are done. Cleaned the bathroom this morning. Um, did all of that. And then I'm going to lay down. Please, God, may I get minimum 40 minutes, 45 minutes sleep. Yeah. Okay, everybody. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes herself, Miss Lilybell. Yeah, and Jonah is in the cat condo. And Sydney was being a little poop. And he went off. He's hiding somewhere, I think. So, yeah. All right, I guess that's it. Uh, please remember on Sunday there is no live. No live. I will do a video in the morning. So, but there is no live and I will be chatting with my friend after church. So, yeah, I guess. Uh, and then my Sunday will be, that will be it. I'm not going to the music festival. I don't have to go. 
I prefer to just sit here and stitch. Works fine for me. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. So thank you very much for joining me today. I know I'm not with it and I'm stumbling over words and everything else. Yeah, it's just because of... Miss Twinkle Toes. Miss Twinkle Toes. Yeah. And now she's sleeping. The cats are sleeping. And I'm going to sleep. So, all right, everybody. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. God willing, of course. Toodles, everybody.